Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to see how to visualize the front view and top view of a line placed in the first quadrant. And not only that, we will also see the most common cases of a line placed in the first quadrant. Like case number one, line is parallel to both horizontal and vertical plane. Case number two, line is inclined to only one plane while parallel to the other. And case number three, line is inclined to both the planes. And here for every case, we will see few examples. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Case number one, line parallel to both horizontal and vertical plane. Here we have a first quadrant with horizontal and vertical planes. Let's imagine a line is placed in the first quadrant in such a way that it is lying on the HP. Let's call the ends of a line as A and B. And the length of a line AB is 150 mm. As line is resting on the HP, obviously it is parallel to the HP. And to know whether the line is parallel to the VP or not, we must know the positions of end A and B in front of the VP. And here, it seems that both ends of line A and B are equidistant from the VP, which means line is parallel to the VP. Let's say that end A and B are 100 mm in front of VP. Now let's see how the front view and top view of line will appear. So for that, imagine initially you are standing here and looking in this direction. We have already seen in the previous videos how to project the views on the planes. So here we will follow the same thing and we will take the projectors from end A and B till it intersects with the VP. As a line is on the HP, the projectors will intersect with the line XY. And here we get the projections of point A and B and we'll name them as A dash and B dash. Remember, we name the front view with dash and top view without dash. Alright, now let's connect A dash and B dash to get the front view of a line. And here we have a front view of a line AB which appears in a true length of a line which is 150 mm. Note that true length means an actual length of a line. Now to project the top view, imagine that you are standing here and looking at the line from top. And the top view of a point A and B will appear on the HP. And as a line is on the HP itself, we just have to replace the capital A and B with small a and b. Connect them to get the top view. Now let's see the another example of a line which is parallel to both the planes. But this time the position of a line will be different. For this case, let's imagine a line is placed in the first quadrant in such a way that it is lying on the VP. Let's call a line as AB and the length of a line AB is 150 mm. As line is resting on the VP, obviously it is parallel to the VP. And again, to know whether the line is parallel to the HP or not, we must know the positions of an end A and B above the HP. And here it seems that both ends of a line A and B are equidistant from the HP, which definitely means line is parallel to the HP. Let's say that end A and B are 100 mm above the HP. Now let's see how the front view and top view of line will appear. So to do that, let's imagine initially you are looking in this direction 
and the front view of a point A and B will appear on the VP. And as a line is on the VP itself, we just have to replace the capital A and B with A dash and B dash. Finally connect them to get the front view. And here, front view of line AB appears in a true length of a line which is 150 mm. Now to project the top view, imagine that you are standing here and looking at the line from above. Then take projectors from end A and B till it intersects with the HP. As line is on the VP, the projectors will intersect with the XY line. And here we get the top view of point A and B, which we will name them as A and B, that is small a and b. Now let's connect A and B to get a top view of a line. And here we have a top view of line AB, which also appears in a true length of a line, which is 150 mm. All right. Now let's have a look at the last example of this case. Imagine a line is placed in the first quadrant in such a way that it is above the HP and in front of the VP. Let's call the ends of a line as AB and the length of a line AB is 150 mm. Here the end points of a line are say 80 mm above the HP and 100 mm in front of the VP. So here also line is parallel to both the planes. Now let's see how the front view and top view of line will appear. So imagine that initially you are looking at the line from front that is from here and looking in this direction. Take the projectors from end A and B till it intersects with the VP. And here we get the front view of point A and B. And we will name them as A dash and B dash. Once we connect these points, we have a front view of a line AB which appears in a true length of a line which is 150 mm. Now to project the top view, imagine that you are standing here and looking at the line from top. Take the projectors from end A and B till it intersects with the HP. And here we have a top view of line AB which also appears in a true length of a line which is 150 mm. Dear friends, in all previous cases, the common thing was the line AB was parallel to both the planes. And hence, we can see the true length of a line in both front view and top view. So here we have finished with the case 1. Now let's move on to the second case in which our line will be inclined to one of the planes and parallel to the other. So for first example, we will imagine a line on the VP. I want you to ask yourself that whether this line is parallel to the VP? Yes, you are right, it is. And is it parallel to the HP? No, it's not. We can clearly see that the end points of a line are not equidistant from the HP. Okay, let's name these ends as A and B. And length of a line is once again 150 mm. And end A is 80 mm above the HP. And line is inclined to the HP at 45 degree. Notice that here we have a fixed notation to show the inclination of a line with the HP and it is theta. So theta is an inclination of a true length with the HP. Now let's see how the front view and top view of a line will appear. So imagine that initially you are looking at the line from here and looking in this direction. And the front view of a point A and B will appear on the VP. And as a line is on the VP itself, the front view will appear as it is. So we just need to replace the capital A and B with A dash and B dash. Connect them to get the front view. 
And here, front view of a line AB appears in a true length of 150mm. Now to project the top view, imagine that you are standing here and looking at the line from above. Then take projectors from end A and B till it intersects with the HP. As the line is on the VP, the projectors will intersect with the line XY. And here we get the top view of point A and B and we'll name them as A and B. Let's connect A and B to get a top view of a line. Alright, now what do you think? Does top view of a line appears in a true length? No, it is not. Here, length of line is shorter than the true length of a line, that is less than 150 mm. Then what we should call this short length which appears in a top view? And the answer is the plan length. As top view is also called as a plan, the length of a line which appears in a top view which is shorter than the true length is called as plan length. Remember this. And here plan length is 115 mm. So in this case we are introduced with two new terms. First the angle theta which is the notation to show inclination of a true length with the HP and second is the plan length which always appears in top view on the HP. Don't worry, you will get used to with this terminology soon. Let's look at the next example of this case. Actually, there is no such a difference in this example if we compare it with the previous one except in this example, line is in front of the VP, not on the VP, unlike in the previous example. So I will quickly show you how to get the front view and top view of this line. Line is AB, 150mm long, and A is 80mm above the HP and 100mm in front of VP. For front view, take projectors, name the front view as A-B- and we can see true length of 150mm in front view. Now look from top, take projectors, plot the points on the HP as A and B, connect them. And here we have top view having length shorter than true length. And we will call it as plan length. And it measures 115mm. Very easy, isn't it? Now let's look at the another example of this case. In this example, we will imagine a line is lying on the HP and inclined to the VP. Again, let's call the end points as A and B and the length of a line as 150mm. And A and B both are on the HP and some distance in front of the VP. Let's say that end A is 100 mm in front of the VP and line is inclined with the VP at 45 degree. And we can see this angle from top view, not in front view, right? And here we are coming across one more new term which is phi. So phi is the notation used to show an inclination of a line with the VP. So always remember that we use theta and phi to show an inclination of true length with the HP and the VP respectively. Alright, let's go for projecting the front view by taking the projectors from end A and B. And here we get A dash and B dash on XY line. Connect them to get front view of a line AB. Here I have a question for you. How much is the length of a line appears in front view? Is it the same as the actual length of a line or shorter than the actual length of a line? Yes, you said right. It's shorter than the actual length of a line. So what you see in front view is not a true length. Then what we should call it? And the answer is an elevation length. So dear friends, 
as front view is also called as an elevation the length of a line which appears in a front view which is a shorter than true length is called as an elevation length remember this and here elevation length is 106 mm now let's plot the top view and we know top view is going to appear as the actual length of a line so just replace the capital A and B with small a and b. Connect them to get top view of a line. And here we have a top view of a line AB which appears in the true length of a line which is 150 mm. Now let's look at two spatial examples of this second case where line is parallel to one of the plane and perpendicular to the other. And here is the first example. Let's imagine a line AB 150 mm long. Here line is perpendicular to the HP and as A and A and B are equidistant from the VP, line is parallel to the VP. Let's say that A and A is 80 mm above the HP and 100 mm in front of VP. To see front view, let's imagine that we are looking at the object in this direction. And to plot the front view of a line, take the projectors from end A and B. Here we have projections of point A and B, which we will call it as A dash and B dash. Connect them to have the front view of a line. And here we can see the true length of a line in the front view. Now let's imagine that we are looking from the top. Notice one thing, while we take the projectors from end A and B, we have a common projector. When we see a line from top, line will appear as a point. We can see the end B and exactly below it, there is end A. Let's name the top view as AB. Let's look at the another example. Here, our line is perpendicular to the VP and parallel to the HP. Let's name it as AB and length is 150 mm. Both ends A and B are 80 mm above the HP and end A is 100 mm in front of the VP. In this situation of a line, when we see a line from front, it will appear as a point. And to plot the front view, let's take a projector which is common for both ends and here we have front view of a line as a point and let's name it as a dash comma b dash. Now let's imagine that you are looking from top, take the projectors from end A and B and here we have the top view of points which we will name them as small a and b. Connect them to get the top view and here we have a top view of a line which appears in a true length. Alright, dear friends, so far we have discussed only two cases of a line with few examples of each type. Also, we came across the new terms and notations like elevation length and plan length, angle theta and angle phi. In the next video, we will see the third case in which line is inclined to both the HP and the VP. And after that, we will look at how to draw every case on a paper. That is, how to solve the problems of projection of lines. So see you in the next video. Take care and enjoy the learning.